I'm Harry Crossgrove. I the Drexel Hill Middle School technology teacher, one of two. I've come straight from Millersville University to Drexel Hill, so I've never taught anywhere else. This is currently going into my 16th year of teaching here. Harry is a, a wonderful, caring individual, very uh, good teacher. Always been fun to work with, kind of funny, really kind of quiet at first. Uh, and then uh, once you get to know him, uh, a really, really good guy. He had a number of life choices and, and life events which led him to become basically morbidly obese. I weighed 560 pounds and at that point you know with problems breathing, a close friend that just had a heart attack, I was kind of scared straight to get something started. He did say that it was actually impacting his professional responsibilities as a teacher here at Drexel Hill Middle School and he was that really saddened him. You know we have to you know, of course, pay attention to the kids and do everything we can for the kids. But in order for me to be there to help the kids and to teach the kids anything, I have to be healthy enough to be here. He committed himself to living a more active lifestyle, exercising and eating a lot more healthy. To get started and to get started with weight loss is I started with, you know, changing my, what I eat completely and doing nothing more than walking. Uh, we would have lunch together. I would notice Harry started was watching what he was eating and he was still eating fine, but he was just watching what he was eating and the amount of food he was intaking. Then the addiction became less of trying to eat more, eat all the stuff I love to finding some way of eating a more healthy version of that and seeing those numbers go down fast. He went to the extreme of even buying a treadmill and putting it in his living room. So if he felt the urge to veg out on the couch, he resisted the urge and instead put the TV on and walked in the treadmill in his living room. It might not be the best thing to look at, but if you're going to watch TV for an hour, why can't you watch TV walking instead of watch TV sitting on a couch? And he just stayed the course and has been dedicated to that, and that's how he was able to, to drop the weight. And simply just through Weight Watchers and walking, I've lost 332 pounds. I think this change that he's gone through has given him so much more energy to help the kids out. Harry is, is very much a hands-on teacher. He's not about standing up in front of kids and lecturing. I used to park myself in a corner just because I didn't have the energy to walk around or I couldn't walk around my own classroom. And now, you know, if I'm sitting down, I'm getting antsy and I want to get up and move. Now more than ever, he's expressed that, you know, there's an extra pep in his step now. You know, he, he comes in in the morning before the start of every school day, hours before he's contractually supposed to be here, and he walks every hall of the building. At one point I counted the paces and kind of figured out roughly that if you walk every hall in the school, it's just a little bit over a mile. So that gave me a good starting point, plus it's my way to stretch out. And I found out if I do that little bit of exercise before the day, I'm much more happy physically during the week, during the school day, than I would be if I sat at a computer the whole time printing stuff out. My church has a few people that were also struggling with weight and they asked me to come in because at that point I had already lost well over 200 pounds and they wanted me to come in and just talk about what I did. And at that point they said, you know, you really need to get your story out. And once I started outlining what I would want to talk about, I realized that outline worked well to be 15 chapters. And all of a sudden, uh, every time I saw Harry, he was sitting on the couch or at his desk typing away. And I was like, Harry, what are you doing? And he would be telling me, I'm just typing some stuff. He needed somehow, I think, to share with people and uh, maybe just for himself, you know, what caused him to be the way that he was and what he needed to change to become this new person. I spent three months writing it because I was so into writing it but I spent five months revising it. So it was over the last year I've been putting it down and most people did not know I was, you know, writing a book. And then all of a sudden I come back to this school year and, you know, Mr. Salerno has it up on his slideshow. It's something that we did share at our opening faculty meeting and, and we used it as an inspirational, motivational story. Uh, and it relates back to just the grit that we talk about in Upper Darby School District. Now everybody in the at least in all the teachers in this school know that, you know, I, I wrote a book and it's been published. It's it's done. I have I have copies and, you know, working on trying to get that word out. Putting it out there for people to to actually buy. 
uh, and, and promoting it is a very, very frightening process. And I, I just can't say enough good things about them for, for doing that. The key thing I wanted to get out is, you know, the struggles, because I see a lot of the kids going through the same struggles with bullying, getting picked on, depression, that kind of stuff. And that, you know, that's something I had to fight through to eventually get to where I am today. And I can't stop smiling, so. <laughs> he is really a visual symbol of the fact that you can take control of your life and um, you don't have to be caught in destructive spirals and um, you don't have to let your situation dictate to you. It's just such a positive message of perseverance and grit that can be shared and followed by the staff and the students and the whole Upper Darby School District community. The final chapter of the book doesn't say it's the end of the story, it just says the next chapter. So, you know, there's, there's never going to be a final chapter, there's always going to be the next chapter. If I can make some type of change, if I can get somebody else to realize that they can do it, then the years of struggle, the getting picked on, that would be all worth it.